I am Michael McDonald and I'm a cardiologist here in Singapore. In this series of short videos I'm answering common questions about the heart. Today's question, what are the different cardiology subspecialties? When you see your cardiologist and they diagnose your heart condition, they may refer you on to a colleague to get help with the management of your condition. This is because no single cardiologist can be skilled at all the different tests and procedures that can be done on the heart. The common subspecialties are electrophysiology. They specialize in treating rhythm disorders of the heart with special techniques called ablation and also using implantable pacemakers. The next subspecialty is interventional cardiology. In some cases, if you have a blockage in a heart artery that's causing you to have symptoms like chest pain or if you have a heart attack, then your cardiologist may recommend you have that blockage opened up with a little balloon followed by a little metal stent to hold the artery open. This is basically what an interventional cardiology does. Then you have heart failure subspecialists. If you have a condition that causes your heart not to pump properly, this can be very serious and will ideally be referred to a heart failure specialist. They specialize in treating your condition to try and improve the function of the heart, make you feel better and make you live longer. There are also cardiac imaging specialists because there are multiple ways that we can look at the heart to diagnose and guide treatment. These are often incredibly specialized and use advanced technology. So a cardiac imaging specialist uses these techniques to assess your heart. The common types of imaging are ultrasound or echo scanning. We have cardiac CT scanning, nuclear imaging, and also cardiac MRI scanning. So I hope you've found this information helpful today. You can subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos or visit my website detailed below. Thanks for listening.